Hi, I'm Susan. Today I'm trying another new recipe and it's called Italian casserole. And it really sounds good and it's not very difficult. So I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope y'all are doing great. And without further ado, let's get started. For this Italian casserole, we'll need one pound of ground beef, a half a cup of chopped onion and a clove of garlic minced, 16 ounces of tomato sauce. You'll need one teaspoon of sugar, a half a teaspoon of oregano leaves, a half a teaspoon of basil, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, and a fourth a teaspoon of black pepper. You'll need two cups of baking mix, such as Bisquick. You'll need a half a cup of whole milk, one egg. It calls for one cup of shredded cheese, but I would use two cups and a fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese has been shredded. You want to brown your meat with your onion and garlic. And I always salt and pepper my hamburger meat. And sometimes I'll use garlic powder and onion powder. To me, it doesn't taste right if I don't season it as I cook, but you do what you're comfortable with. And I apologize for my stove. I do try to clean it. This will not come up and the eye is broken. So after you get done browning your meat, you want to drain it and add it back into your pan. Now you want to add in your tomato sauce and all of your seasonings. And you want to bring this up to a boil, co constantly stirring. And you want to cut your oven on to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it starts boiling, you want to reduce the heat and you want to just let it simmer for about 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. Now I'm going to get everything else ready. Now I sprayed my dish. It calls for an 8x8x2. Eight by eight by I just used this baking dish. It's not 8 inches wide. It's a little longer, but it worked out fine. And you want to mix your baking mix, your egg, and your milk. And you want to put half of it into the bottom of your baking dish. The dough is very sticky, so you'll just have to kind of work with it as you spread it out on the bottom of your dish. Now over that crust on the bottom, you want to sprinkle half of your cheese. And as I said, I would increase the amount of cheese. Once your meat mixture has simmered for 10 minutes, you want to spread it over the cheese. And then you want to top it with the other half of the cheese and your Parmesan cheese. Now you want to drop the rest of your dough over the top just by teaspoonfuls. You'll want to bake it for about 20 minutes or until lightly brown and it only took 15 minutes for my oven.
All right, let's give this a try. It's still hot, so. Mm. Now that's really good. Mm. I think this one's going to be a keeper. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I don't think I would change much except maybe add more cheese because you can never get enough cheese. And I think you could probably add a little garlic powder to the biscuit mix and um, give it a little bit more of a garlicky flavor, but it's really good the way it is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Leave a comment to let me know what you think. I sure do appreciate you all. And until next time, bye y'all. And I'm sorry, that strand of hair is annoying me. So if it annoys you, I'm sorry.